Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankar Marketing Channel. Happy Diwali to all of you. In this video, we are going to see what are the various uh, roles or people with various roles involved in developing the websites. And we are also going to see how exactly AEM templates and component policies can solve the problems which can occur during authoring of any website. If you are liking the videos which I am doing, please consider subscribing to my channel and also share and like. Let's get started with the presentation. Okay, so let's say that you are a digital manager for your company and you are tasked to develop a website for your company. So then what are the major challenges which you might face? Okay, so one of the challenges which you might face is to manage the consistency. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so let's take an example of this uh, website. Okay, so if you see this website, then the fonts which you use and the colors which you use will be consistent across this website. So for example, if I go to this article page, okay, and if I go to any article, not just this article. So here I have just opened one of the article, but if I open any other article, like for example, this article, then that also will repeat the same pattern. Okay, so here you have the text, on the side you have about the author and on the top you have the title. Okay, so here too on the top title, this one about the author and this thing. So this consistency will be maintained across the website. So this is common for all the websites. So why do we need to maintain the, such a consistency? This is because to maintain the brand. Okay, so all this comes under the concept of branding. Okay, so branding is a bigger concept, but uh, uh, as far as a website and UI is concerned, this is one of the things which we need to consider. Uh, that is, you will have to maintain the same colors. Like for example, if you see a company like Reliance, right, you, you will immediately uh, see the blue and red colors, right? So like that, any brands will have their brand related colors. Right, so those colors uh, will need to be used on the website consistently. So only those colors need to be used across the website. So why do we need to do that? So that the users, when they navigate from one page to another page, right, they shouldn't feel as if they are uh, going into a different website. Like for example, I have taken this website, okay, so which is a different article page from a different website. Now, if you see this website versus this website, you will immediately observe the difference, right? Though both of them are article pages only, the way the menu is constructed here and the way the header is appearing here and the fonts, right? And the alignment. So everything changes from one website to another website, right? So this layout, fonts and colors are what uh, are creating a subtle impression in the user's mind that he is in the same website. Let's say if he clicks on this article link and a page opens which looks like this suddenly, then you will be wondering as a user whether you are on the same website as the previous one or not. Right? So that is why you need to manage the consistency maintain the consistency across the website. So that would be one of the major thing uh, which the digital manager should consider. Okay, so now let's see uh, the AEM part of it, right? As we have discussed in our previous videos, we told AEM is a content management system which gives the flexibility for the authors to author the content and layout without having to depend upon the developer. Right, so that is the flexibility uh, which AEM is giving. So AEM uh, can be configured uh, to have the infinite possibilities, okay, which means to say that you can give the author the complete flexibility to add the components in the order they want and style the components in the way they want and apply the colors also in the way they want. Okay, so you can give the complete flexibility for your authors, but if you do so, then what happens is each author or each content author or marketer will create the content and fonts and colors in such a way that 
one page might look completely different than another page though you are creating the content for the same website so though aem gives you the good flexibility that comes with a caveat right so now given this problem uh, we need to think how can we solve this so to solve this first we have the ui and ux designer in place okay so what will this ux and ui designer will do right so they define what all colors we need to use in a website and they will also define what fonts needs to be used and if there are more than one fonts they will define as to what are those fonts and in what purpose they need to be used like for example they can say all the titles has to be in font 1 and all the text has to be in font 2 right so like that they will define some rules as to when to use what and also they can define the component styles like for example if you take an example of a button right button can be in four colors like primary secondary tertiary right so uh, you might want to use uh, different colors in different scenarios but ultimately what you are adding is a button right and uh, it, it has some color and the button could appear as a link also at some times so though you are uh, varying the styles you are talking about the same component right so what the ux and ui designers will do is they will take each component like button carousel cards right and they will say what are the various ways or styles in which those components can be so these ui and ux designers they will use a tool like uh, figma and do all this okay so once they have done all these things they will give that figma designs to developers so then what developers will do is they will create the component code like for example the button now the button has to be rendered on the aem uh, on the web page right for for that to be rendered developer has to write some code so that code uh, will be written and they will take the references from the styles given by the ui and ux designers okay so they will create a component called button and they will they will add the various styles for that like for example they will say primary color secondary color tertiary color make a button appear as link so they will add the code to style the component in various ways okay so that part developer will do and they will deploy all that thing into the content management systems which is aem here right so now let's take one example and understand what are these components and styles and how do they look like in aem okay so let me go to this uh, page okay so this page is the english page in the v retail which i am opening okay so i have selected this and clicked on the edit button so this page is open so let's see one component okay for example uh, this component so this is the list component if you see here you see the name list right so this component is a list component so now you understand what is the component right so this is the list component now how do we apply various styles on it okay now here you see the paintbrush icon right so if you click on this paintbrush icon you can arrange uh, this uh, list in different ways like for example if I say block instead of grid in the layout, if I select block, then see immediately the layout of this has changed, right? So this, is, this has changed. So if I select back the grid, right, then I will get back the grid. So these are the styles on that particular component. Okay, so why are these styles defined here? It is because UI designer has defined that the list could be in these different ways list could appear in these different ways okay so he might have defined that the list could include the date also right it should it could be like that and there could be one style wherein the date is not there right it could be like this and there could be a style wherein image also is not there right it could be like this and there could be a style wherein image is not there but it looks like a block okay so these are all the different variations which we can have for one component which is list okay so let me put it back so it was like this earlier right so this is what i am saying when i say that uh, 
देर इज अ कॉम्पोनेंट एंड देर आर मल्टीपल वेरिएशन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉम्पोनेंट ओके सो नाउ दिस पेन पेस आइकॉन मैन वी क्लिक किया राइट वॉट एवर स्टाइल्स यू आर सींग हियर फ्रेम वेर आर दे कमिंग विद दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो दीज आर कमिंग फ्रेम द कॉम्पोनेंट टेम्पलेट पॉलिसीज ओके सो सो फर्स्ट वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज we need to click on this slider icon and we need to edit the template okay so this would edit the template for us so in this template we need to make sure we are on the structure okay so once we are on the structure this is the header right and uh, this is the allowed components so i have covered these topics earlier so if you are not aware of it i'll link i will leave the link of the playlist in the description box you can follow the videos in the sequence from there so now let's click on this list icon here so this is the list component and besides the list component you see one icon so this is the policies this is where the policies are defined okay for that particular component okay so if i click on this pol policies then we have the policy name or policy title we retail dot default right so this is the policy title okay so then what happens is here we have uh, the list settings item settings and something called as styles right so these are the various styles so now if you see here if i click on this pane brush icon you see block and grid right so these styles are coming from here so those styles are defined here and for each of this style what we are saying is what is the css class which has to be used or applied in the back end by aem so when you select this style here automatically aem applies this class as in the back end so that that look and feel of that particular selection will be appearing on the aem so creating these styles and writing the code for that all these things will be taken care by the developers so they will define all the code for these classes but then to give the author it to select these uh, things right someone has to define these styles in the template at the component policy level okay so that role is the admin role okay so what does admin do is he will go into the template and go into the component policies he will see what kind of page it is Like for example, whether it is a home page or a blog page, and he will add the add or allow the components. Okay, he will go to the template first, and he will see as per the design given by the UX designers, what are all the components which are allowed as part of the home page. Those components here. So that he will do for the home page. So now the template for the home page is created. now he may create another page or another template for the blog page and then he will allow all the components which are required or can be added on the blog page so that is first allowing the components then the second step what he will do is on each of this template he will select the component policy and he will go to this policies and he will define the list of the styles which has to be appeared on that particular page or which has to be appeared on the page which is based on this template okay for example this page is based on this template right so these are the styles which are being displayed here but if this page is dependent on the blog page then you might have to add some of the styles or delete some of the styles from here based on the design recommendations given by the ui designer right so all those configurations will be done by the aem admin so once those configurations are done then what what happens is here marketers or content authors will be able to finally use these styles like this and they will author it on the page so what we are doing in a way in a way what we are doing is we are limiting the possibilities of what author can do on a page we are not giving him infinite possibilities 
and that is a good in one sense because if he has to author all this by himself using the out of the box AEM given uh, layout containers and everything then what he needs to do he needs to uh, first uh, define this layout all by himself and then he will also have to see how this layout should look like in iPad in phone right so he will have to define all these himself okay so if you give infinite flexibility that is good which can also lead to these problems of inconsistency and also it is a huge effort on the part of the author to really author all these in different screens so having infinite possibility is also not always good so we will restrict in a way the author's capability so that we will speed up his uh, process of authoring and also meanwhile we will maintain the consistency so the purpose of using AEM templates and component policies is to maintain the consistency and also to restrict the authors from doing only the things which are recommended by UX designers. That's it for today's video. Thank you and Jai Hind.